Reports coming in that the televangelist, the big mega church pastor himself, Joel Austin, taking in, well, quite a bit of PPP loan money from Corona. We're going to get into the details of that, and then I'm going to give my thoughts on what I think about this whole situation. Before I go any further, guys, i got to give a special shout-out here to Maria, who recently became a $5 patron, helping to support the channel. Thank you so much, Maria. That is a great blessing. And also, Marsha, who recently upped her pledge on Patreon to $25 a month. Thank you so much, Marsha, for that. You are awesome. It was so good to uh, chat with you the other day in the comment section on a previous video. And guys, if you enjoy what I do here, you would like to help support, I recommend you do so as well over on Patreon, as little as $5 a month, patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you access to all the bonus content, but soon it might get you all the content with YouTube cracking down on me, giving me all kinds of warnings. Who knows how much longer I'm going to be on the platform. I could be gone at any point. If you want to avoid that, make sure you keep getting my content and also help support, then I recommend you sign up over there on Patreon. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So we know these PPP protection loans are going out there, the Payment Protection Program, to many businesses and churches. And well, for Joel Osteen, Lakewood Church, they are no exception to this. The report coming out that the mega church received towards the end of July over $4.4 million dollars. That's right, in the PPP loans. Now, funny enough about this loan is that initially, uh, Joel did not apply, for at least for the first couple of months, because he said he didn't know how long the shutdown was going to be happening, so he didn't bother to do it. But then, finally, he did, and yet they still somehow ended up eligible to go ahead and receive that payment. Now, Joel saying this, Mr. Osteen saying that uh, his services were shut down from March 15th to October the 18th. And well, you see, during that time, his church lost the opportunity to take in, you know, very generous donations from all of the members there at Lakewood. He said this hurt them significantly. But let me just say this, Joel, did you fight to keep your church open? No, you didn't. You shuddered, you cowered, you ran away, you locked yourself up in your little mansion with your wife, Victoria, and you did nothing. While other pastors around the country were fighting to keep the church open, you had no issue with it being closed and just doing your little virtual services and being completely fine with that. But if you look at other pastors like a John MacArthur out in California, who at lawsuit after lawsuit, this guy has been fighting uh, and still you know, is dealing with stuff over there right now. He was keeping his church open because he knew that it was important for people to be able to come to the house of God and worship to hear the word of God. You didn't apparently think so. Now, not just people like John MacArthur, but other smaller churches as well that don't have as much money, okay, that did want to keep their churches open for their people, for those who were looking, you know, the lost who were looking to find Christ, didn't want to just watch on a virtual service. Maybe they don't have the means to do that. They were driving by, they see a church here on the corner, they wanted to stop in, and oh, they can't because it's closed. But no, Joel didn't do that. He didn't do that. No, he just did his virtual services. He knows he's going to make his money, so what did he really care? So I don't have any, I have no sympathy for, for Joel when he says things like this. Now, he says that the 360, the money went to 368 of their full and part-time employees, and Joel insists that he didn't take a dime from any of that. Now, whether or not that's true who knows? We know the guy already has a lot of money in general, but I don't feel bad for him at all. This is also uh, a pastor here that was out marching with BLM uh, back when that whole deal was going on earlier in the summer. He was out there marching in the streets with them. So this is a phony to me, and I'm sorry that might offend some people, but you know what? This isn't a true pastor to me. And the fact that uh, you know, they got this $4.4 you know, million dollar PPP loan is ridiculous in my opinion. But what do you guys think? You let me know down below in the comment section. I'll have more information on this in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.